Welcome back to another edition of the St. Peter's Newcomers Spotlight. Once again, we're highlighting the baseball team's newcomers and joining us all the way from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, is Mike Bonacorso. Mike, great to see you today. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. And the circumstances for a lot of the baseball players have been different because Many of them were on campus for an amount of time for fall workouts, but uh, you were unable to get to campus, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, I've been home. I haven't been back in the U.S. since early March. How have you been able to get better and work on your game with all of the different COVID restrictions, especially in your home country of Canada? Yeah, so... Basically, we had a very limited summer ball season. I think we played seven games. And so it didn't start till late August when our numbers started going down. And then as soon as numbers started going back up again, that all got canceled. So now I've been working out at a facility in Mississauga. Um, I go there every day with one of my buddies who plays at a school in New York. Uh, he's a catcher and he didn't go because of COVID. So the two of us kind of just go there every day. Um, there's also a gym there, so we work out there every day. So, you know, just trying to get better as, as much as possible and working with what we have right now. Well, you've been quite the traveler throughout your career. You started at a community college out in California, uh, Ohlone uh, College, and then you went to Dodge City, Kansas uh, in 2020. And now you're going to be in Jersey City. You've gotten every, every perspective of the nation. You've gotten the, the <laughs> both coasts and the and the Great Plains. What has that been like? Uh, it's been cool. So I went to Ohlone out of high school and that was a great experience. Got to live in California for two years. I obviously registered my first year and then played my freshman year there. Great experience, loved the guys. And then uh, just for the better standpoint of myself, uh, transferred to Dodge City, had an amazing time there. Um, all the coaches, all the staff, everybody, all the players loved it. And sadly, I only got to be there for one year because I was a sophomore, but um, great time. And yeah, kind of just traveling the country now and uh, back over here on this coast. So I'm excited to get started at St. Peter's and first year of Division One, so it'll be exciting. Have you been able to visit the St. Peter's campus? Uh, no, so I was supposed to go for my official visit, um, I think May 5th, and uh, that obviously got canceled because of COVID. So I actually haven't been able to get down on campus yet. I've done a lot of the tours um, online, but haven't been able to see the campus for person. Without having seen the campus, what did draw you to come to St. Peter's? Definitely the coaches. They were very good with the recruiting process. They were very helpful with everything. Uh, my coach at Dodge City had great things to say about them. And uh, yeah, I was just excited to, um, you know, get to play my first year of Division One, And that definitely attracted me. And the coaches were all nice from the beginning. So that's what helped with my decision. That's been such a unique aspect of all the newcomers we've talked to on this series is that many of them have not been to campus. You obviously must have had many conversations with Coach Lou coming in. What have those been like and what do you think of his vision for the program? I think it's great. Coach Lou is awesome. Um, so is Coach Aubin. I've been in close contact with him too just because of uh, him being the pitching coach, but both of them have been amazing. You know, we've had a couple of Zoom calls. I actually text Coach Aubin pretty much every day, you know, updating him on what I did today, what I did to get better, update them, send them videos, stuff like that. But uh, I'm just excited to get on campus. I can't wait for spring and for baseball to get started. Well, let's talk about what you'll be able to bring to the team. You are a pitcher. What do you think will be your role coming in and what do you think the strengths are uh, of your game? Um, coming in, I think it's definitely going to be a fast pace for me not being there all fall. I'm going to have to pick up on signs real quick, um, kind of get the flow of the team, get to interact with the guys, you know, pick up all of those uh, relationships really quickly. I think that uh, my role, you know, it's everybody's, everybody's competing for a spot, right? So obviously me not being there in the fall, I'm going to have to come in and compete for a spot as quick as possible. And uh, just hopefully I can earn my spot and have a great spring with the team. And, you know, as of what I'm bringing to the team, I feel like, you know, positivity, fun loving guy, you know, just excited to get out there and match with the guys and just have a good time, so. You have a lot of new teammates that you unfortunately have not been able to see yet in person. How have you been able to interact with them 
It's been hard. I think we've had two Zoom calls. So really, I haven't been able to interact with a lot of the guys much at all. But, you know, some of them are my, some of my classes, so you'll see them in class sometimes. But it's been very hard to interact with some of them. So I know there's another Canadian guy on the team. So hopefully I'll be able to see him over break when he's home. And, um, you know, looking forward to meeting all the guys in January. Well, we're looking forward to having you on campus. How excited are you to uh, hopefully eventually finally come to Jersey City and step on the diamond. I'm extremely excited. I cannot wait. I can't wait till January when we're up on up on the field and you know, February when season rolls around, it's it's all very exciting. I can't wait. Well, I'd love to know a little bit more about you. You obviously have a, a far different perspective being from Canada. What do you think has been the biggest culture shock? I definitely, a lot of the guys say I say some words funny, so. A lot of them say I say A a lot, or the way I say house, they say I say it weird. Um, so definitely, you know, just having fun with the guys, you know, get teased a little bit for, I guess, having a little bit of an accent. But culture shock, I think definitely, it's been it's been a good transition from going from all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, and then to Middle America, and now back to the East Coast again. So it's definitely been a good time, and I've enjoyed my time in college, and I'm looking forward to university. Is there a, a significant difference in your mind from being in Canada and the United States? Um, California, not much so. You know, I came from uh, Mississauga, it's right outside of Toronto, so big city vibes. Um, California, like living near San Francisco is definitely kind of around the same aspect, but moving to Dodge City, Kansas, there was definitely a little bit of a culture shock, a lot of small town vibes. It was a good time, but a lot of different characters that, you know, it was good. Met guys from Texas, Oklahoma, you know, places like that where, you know, they come from small towns and so it's, it's been good. I've been able to meet people all around the country. So I'm excited just to come to Jersey City now and have a good time. One last important question. Are you a Maple Leafs fan? I am, sadly. You know, <laughs> been a rough couple of years. <laughs> well, we'll have to bring you hopefully soon to Prudential Center to watch the Devils play. Maybe change your perspective on things a little bit. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for joining us today. And we hope to see you on the Diamond in Jersey City very soon. Thank you so much for having me.